This is the third Yeezys on the channel, and just like the other two, they're mad weird, but I kind of like them, so, yeah. Welcome, cool cats and doggies, to another episode of Freaking Sneaks. Today, we'll be going over the Yeezy 350 V2's Mono Ice. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can catch all the content that we have here. At the end of the video, make sure you leave a comment below if you bang with it. If you're unfamiliar with me, Shafiq, make sure you check me out on all the social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Tiki Taki. Now let's get into this review. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's start off with the box. Ain't nothing new with the shoes. As you see, it says 350 on the top. It says Yeezy Boost 350 made by Adidas right there. If you check right here, yeah, size 13. So you know what we gotta do. Smile, wave. Big key game we got. Once you open up the pulley box, you greet it by baby blue clue shoes. I don't know what I'm doing, hopping the car and I'm zooming, watching new videos, you tune in. These dress look like something the nurse would wear, the doctor would wear, maybe even the patients, dog. These baby blue mono ice joints look like hospital shoes. At least that's what they look like to me. Now, the mono and the mono ice stands for monochromatic, which means one single color or a single wavelength for frequency. Obviously, we're talking about the color in this one, even though you can argue that the frequencies and vibes are one wavelength in this shoe. Mono also stands for monofilament, which is the fiber that's used in fishing lines. And if you look at this shoe, and you think about the other stuff that Kanye's use, like algae on the foam runners. Adidas and Yeezys, they find random materials that make shoes. And so for that part, the creativity is on 100. I mean, especially at the end of the day, if it helps like global warming or anything like that, then I guess you gotta give them another kudos. So this weird mesh material on the top actually allows you to see through the shoe, almost like a skeleton while looking at it through an x-ray. And I think that's pretty cool. You get that one stripe on the lateral side that's common on other 350s. The white laces are actually made in similar material to this, at least the outside of it. So it's kind of weird because it's hard to tie. It makes that nasty sound. I really don't, I don't bang with these laces. This is like the third time they changed laces on Yeezys. And uh, I don't really care for any of them. The other ones have like the infinity one where you can't actually untie it. They also brought back that heel loop that people wanted on the old 350s. They took them off and put them back on. And finally got this big ass peach looking sole, man. This joint thick. This joint thick with three C's. This joint, this is all the boost you need. This is why people flock to Adidas. This joint is thick. And this is why this shoe is mad comfy. Hella thick, CCC. Now initially the Americans got the mono ices. Mono ice, let's just go in my, the, the ices part just hella. <laughs> The mono ices, like ice, all right, chill. And then Europe and parts of Africa got the mono mist. Them joints look like poop. Them joints look like someone threw a Dr. Pepper into a mud, I don't know, them joints, nah. And then Asia got the mono clays, or part of Asia got the mono clays. And then a week after, they came out with the mono cinders, which I just, they're just playing out, I don't know. If I were to grade those from one to four, I think I like the clays the best, then probably these, the hospital joints. And then, I, I guess I gotta like the cinders over the, the mist. Those mists there. Wakala. Them mist joints look like diarrhea when you're out. Now, let's get into according to my calculations. First three pairs of models came out on June 18th at a price point of $220. Then the cinders came out a week later on the 24th. The cinders are way more rare than these, but at the same time, they're still going for around the same price. Now, all of them are going for roughly 40 to 60 more bucks, which is obviously inside of the $100 that we talk about if you're copying a shoe for pre-sale or resale. So if you want these bad boys, go get them. Now me, would I pay anything more than what I paid for them? No. The reason why is, they were 220. I don't think I've ever paid for anything more than 220 for a retail shoe, unless it was a collaboration or 
a phone posit. And phone posits are just something that's dear to me and maybe not to other people right now. So I pay that price for phones. You know, 230, 240, 250. I've done it. Everything else over 220, I believe, has been a collab basically, which gets better materials or whatever the case may be. Now, most people are probably gonna say, well, even though Yeezy's not a collab to Adidas because he is Adidas. I guess someone could argue that it's a collab, but regardless, it's 220 with tax. It was like 232 or 233 or something. I'd be damned if I paid 300 dollars for these because, bro, like I said, for retail they're not a bad shoe. They're mad comfy. You can get away with a classic color throwing it on the little alien skeletal thing. It's different. I have nothing. I have nothing bad to really say about the shoe. Outside, I just wouldn't pay for it more than retail. If you got it for retail, congrats. Let me know in the comments below if you obviously copped any of those four colors and let me know how y'all feeling about this shoe. Like I said, overall seven out of 10, that's pretty high. Like I said, I'm not biased and only for Nike. I like some Adidas. This shoe would be a lot better than me if it had the other materials, the ones that's off the net ones, like uh, my girl's pair. Actually, let me grab those real quick. My girl's pair, the ones that I bought her from Esteem, if you haven't checked that video out, then check the obviously that video out. I got her the Zions for our three year anniversary. As you see, this has a knit upper. The knit upper is way better than whatever this meshy material, mono material is. I truly like this material way better than this one. If this one had this material and like their little baby blue with the creamy milky sole, I might like them a lot more. So shout out to Yeezys and Adidas for trying something new. I'm not knocking the creativity. I definitely like the knit ones better. This shoe is fire. Let me know in the comments if y'all like the mesh material better than uh, the knit one. And also tell me if y'all happy that the pull tab's back. See, this one doesn't have it, but it does have that 350 line that I was talking about. So, you know, she wears hers. I barely wear my shoes. That's how life goes. Another shoe, another review. Thank y'all for coming through and watch me do what I do. Until the next video, I'ma holla at y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.